James Bond is the film par excellence to transmit messages by the enemy within and to all their club members because almost every single being on the planet will watch that movie. And it's so in our faces that it's not even subliminal anymore but right in the open as if they're getting so bold and feeling invincible, their great moment to come being imminent. The title Spectre, amongst others, is an abbreviation of a secret organization in the Alps standing for Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge and Extortion which is, of course, octagon of the Swiss Nazi Templars. And the author, Ian Fleming, lived in Switzerland. He's, uh, he's, using his, he's from the Saint-Croix Templars family. Um, so see my other video about Ian Fleming, and you understand that this is octagon Switzerland. It is true. Accentuated further on in the trailer when James Bond shows a ring for alliance with an octopus on it. So here you can see the uh, this is the uh, the trailer. This is the uh, the James Bond uh, channel, and of course I can't show it to you here uh, for copyright uh, reasons. Uh, I would have a problem with YouTube, of course. So you can have a look at the trailer yourself at their James Bond uh, channel and I put in the links for you. And Octa means eight in Greek as most squids have eight tentacles just as the US enroll total control all seeing eye in the sky of which you'll see more in my other vid about it. So here's the vid with uh, on the same channel. So here's Spectre on Wikipedia. It says it was founded here in 1950. And one, two, three, four, five, well, eight, of course. You can also see the, uh, the alien connection here. As in Ari, aristocracy, born out of the sun from beyond here. And it appeared in Ian Fleming's, here it says Fleming, um, in his first novel, Thunderball, and then in the second film here, Dr. No. And therefore they had the Swiss lady play in it, uh, Ursula Andres, from Bern, the, uh, the land, the, um, um, the canton of the bear, just like in John's Revelations. So it's all it, it's very very much related to Switzerland, and it is octagon. Now you can read the whole thing here. I'll put in the links for you. There you go. And the word spectre is from the Latin spessere meaning to look at, as in spectacles, a spectacle, or a spectator. And it means, it also means a visible, incorpor incorporeal spirit, especially one of terrifying nature, a ghost, apparition, or phantom. It also means some object of terror or dread, a mental image of something unpleasant or menacing, any incorporeal supernatural being that can become visible or audible to human beings. So, and the um, the octopus thing, it, it even looks a bit like a ghost, you know. Then, with that title indicating the arrival of some entity they show this teleportation vortex wormhole for the arrival of souls and most people think it's the inside barrel of a gun and the blood coming down because the uh, a bullet from this barrel just killed somebody or is it rather the blood and genetics of a um, 
needed of a human being to materialize this arrival from it's always coming from up there the blood well it's all indicating this here you know and then that lady in the latest uh, Spectre trailer talking about its skyfall through that vortex and saying you've got a secret something you can't tell anyone because you don't trust anyone well definitely by the swiss laws of silence and masons omerta by the sisters of isis and who's falling anyway who's having a skyfall here hey well look at that picture there in the, in the thing wormhole vortex with well, is not it, it is not a barrel of a gun but it brings death yes and that vortex wormhole fits with the Templars Baphomet meaning Ba the soul when dead Paha to arrive and Meh for pyramid the immortal souls arrive in the pyramid Bapha Meh then in that new Spectre trailer showing an alpine scenery on a lake with snow-topped alpine Swiss mountains a mysterious voice says I always knew death would wear a familiar face while well, we hear a pounding heartbeat boom 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 death a familiar face it says like a world-known politician we all know or something now watch this video to understand more of it because bond stands for the alliance and also for boas the obelisk as in jabo ja for james and bo for bond also ja for jason bo for born jason born Jebo, the two mason obelisks, Yashin and Boaz, and therefore the voice addressing first Bond and later James for each equivalent obelisk and saying, You're a kite dancing in a hurricane, Mr. Bond. Well, this is definitely referring to the mason Ordo Apkaos with that hurricane while well, within the bond of the order the order it seems nothing more than just dancing and playing with us also saying the arrival takes place in the middle of times of turmoil like a kite dancing in a hurricane and all this is being said in a two minute trailer of mr freemason bond of switzerland then the mysterious and penetrating voice of the trailer addresses James for Yashin and says Welcome James, it's been a long time and finally here we are Simultaneously showing a mason lodge in and Right after it shows a bullet hole in the exact same configuration as the octopus octagon seal on the ring of alliance with spectre on it for that arrival of whatever it is and 007 the number of the pyramid of Baphomet which means the soul arrives in the pyramid ba fa me with the three trinity for the side of the pyramid for Isis Horus and Seth and four for its base and the four elements see my video on Ian Fleming for more and you see this is the same image as the bullet hole in the glass and a um, octopus it, sh it, it has eight tentacles for octagon and it shows in a couple of more images it, it does show eight like of, in the spectre image but here it shows seven like in 007, the symbol of the pyramid. 
Interestingly, 007 Spectre is a corporation of two big Hollywood companies with both Faironic lo logos with Columbia, the light bringer on a pyramid for Isis, and MGM, G for masonry, Gola or Golut, and M for the M sign of the hand, showing the lion symbol of the aristocracy and Pharaoh's dignity. The trailer also shows crows as the bringer of souls leading the way to the portals. The trailer announces the long-awaited awakening and related to the Alps and Octogon. And just as Spectre's octopus for Octogon, there's the Spinner, the spider organization, also symbolizing Octogon for the eight legs and the world wide web of masonry and Die Spinner is one of the those numerous Swiss Nazi Templar orgs uh, bringing Nazis to South America via the Red Line after World War II to places like Colonia Dignidad in Chile and uh, to Argentina where Nazis have uh, San Carlos de Bariloche, Ba for the soul and Ri for the sun Bari Lodge, just as the Argentinian flag with the sun in it, protected by Argentinian Nazi presidents like Peron, Per for the house or bloodline, and On meaning in the function of Per On, like in Per A, the big house where the word Pharaoh is from. It's in Wikipedia, you can read the whole article. These are all original uh, demotic words and pharaonic names of our pharaonic masters from Octogon, Switzerland, the base of all evil, where in Villa Bavaria the Nazis and Nazi colonel Paul Schäfer massively raped children. There he is. Villa Bavaria, Ba for the soul, Vaha means to come home or return ri the sun and a for big or pregnant bavaria the soul returns to the sun from where we were born bavaha ri a bavaria and these pharaonic swiss nazi templars in argentina did more to those children than ju just between square quotes just raping them there you can see the rest of the article, just punch pause, put in the links for you. It, it really is the spider, it's all over and it's a world wide web, everywhere. Apparently these creatures need to lift young defenseless souls for that coming arrival. What if they had isolated all those children from that A320 Airbus German Wings flight before they accidented the plane, as they do with a rendition at an airport by those uniformed creatures coming to you? Sir, you have to step aside and come with me. And they have done so in numerous rendition cases. The kids are far away from home with no parental supervision. Well, best set up conditions for the perfect rendition and the airplane was old and ready for scrap anyway anyway the authorities lie all the time about nearly anything and then backed up by other authority officers as they lie about the airbus cockpit door which can in fact be opened from the outside by the personnel on board as this official Airbus instruction video shows, which a good person sent to me. So here it says in German, open up the damn door. And here it says that the tape is secret. So now they say in the media that the captain was screaming on the flight recorder, open up the damn door and saying the tapes uh, are all secret. So nobody will hear them eventually. Secret?
kept away from public is all you can come up with with those old stories of some suicide ballads. Well, we remember that one from your 9-11 scam false flag psyops. You think we're stupid or something? And where are the children? And this here, it sounds like a rendition. Both flights from Boston that struck the Twin Towers passed over Stewart Air Force Base and NORAD facility at the exact same time. This is a rendition. But there wasn't even a plane because uh, you can't fly uh, with an airliner 850 kilometers an hour at sea level. There's not enough drag and there's the, uh, too much air resistance. This man here is, a, is an expert, Field McConnell. So you can send him an email here in this uh, website here. And uh, he was a, uh, a Navy uh, jet pilot as well. And he knows about the uninterruptible autopilot, just like the accident of the, of the German wings. So that means the, the ground computer can, uh, at the moment the airplane is in the air, they put in the uninterruptible autopilot and there's no pilot in the world that can do anything about it. The airplane flies itself and you can do nothing. Not even that so-called or that scapegoat German suicide pilot uh, who they scapegoated for this affair here. <laughs> Nobody can do a thing. So, and just as an A320 Airbus has an uninterruptible autopilot in which the pilot cannot unlock we are not the pilots of our own lives anymore with New World Order and Octagon deciding every step we take and forbidding every step we really want to take and now it seems with the announcement of the arrival of the Bond it seems the 007 Octagon Jebo Pyramid is all geared up in fifth gear for their kite in the storm. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride down. <laughs>